10 Judgments That God Exercises A Biblical Teaching These 10 judgments that God exercises include, 5 historical judgments, and 5 judgments yet to come. 5 Historical Judgments That God Has Exercised 1. Consequences of the First Sin 2. The Great Flood 3. Sodom and Gomorrah 4. The Captivities of Israel and of Judah 5. Jesus' Death on a Roman Cross 5. Future Judgments from God 6. Destruction of the Coming Antichrist 7. Separation of Nations at Jesus' Return 8. Fall of the Mystery, Babylon the Great 9. Distribution of Rewards to the Just 10. The Final Damnation of the Godless 1. Consequences of the First Sin Yahweh God commanded the man, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men. Two. The Great Flood Yahweh regretted that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart, so Yahweh said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, man and animals and creeping things and birds of the heavens, for I am sorry that I have made them. The waters prevailed, and all flesh died, and all mankind. 3. Sodom and Gomorrah Yahweh rained on Sodom and Gomorrah sulfur and fire from out of heaven, and he overthrew all the inhabitants of the cities. By turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes Yahweh condemned them to extinction, making them an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly. 4. The Captivities of Israel and of Judah the nations shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity, for their iniquity, because they dealt so treacherously with me. Yahweh sent bands of the Chaldeans, and bands of the Syrians, and bands of the Moabites, and bands of the Ammonites, and sent them against Judah, to destroy it, according to the word of the Lord, that he spoke by his servants the prophets. 5. Jesus' Death on a Roman Cross We esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. Christ suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God being put to death in the flesh. 6. Destruction of the Coming Antichrist Then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will kill, with the breath of his mouth, and bring to nothing, by the appearance of his coming. The beast was captured, and with it the false prophet who in its presence had done the signs by which he deceived those who worshipped its image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulphur. 7. Separation of Nations at Jesus' Return When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. Then he will say, Depart from me, 
you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. 8. Fall of Babylon the Great The great prostitute, Babylon the Great, the ten horns that you saw, they and the beast will hate the prostitute, they will burn her up with fire. Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great, she has become a dwelling place for demons. Her plagues will come in a single day, death and mourning and famine, and she will be burned up with fire, for mighty is the Lord God who has judged her. 9. Distribution of Rewards to the Just Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you, from the foundation of the world. One's work will become manifest, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each one has done. If the work that anyone has built on the foundation survives, he will receive a reward. 10. The Final Damnation of the Godless The Father has granted the Son authority to execute judgment, an hour is coming, when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice, and come out, those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened, then another book was opened, which is the book of life and the dead were judged by what was written in the books, according to what they had done, and if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. To escape from the coming judgment, put your trust in Jesus Christ, who died on a cross to save you from God's wrath. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus.